Right, well, so for the next thing, so programming techniques, there's the stepwise environment. But first, before that, there's some stuff that you should know. So there's the you may remember all this from F452 and F451 as well. So there's the subroutine, a named block of code that carries out a spe spe specific task. Then a function performs a single task and returns a value. A procedure, a subroutine that does not return a value. Both the function and procedure uses local variables. I'll get that in the next video. A parameter is when data is supplied to a function which is used as a local variable. Well then, so the stepwise refinement, you may remember this from F452 top-down modular design, so it fits in with this. So if where you have a big problem and then you break it down into smaller and smaller parts so it's easier to manage the problem. So the parts are small enough to be programmed as a single subroutine so you can so it's like a divide and conquer type thing. So this diagram so it's just, this is just a basic layout so you've got the main problem, then the sub problems, then the sub sub problems to solve and stuff like that. Now the advantages of using the stepwise environment, so the top-down module design type thing, is that each, mod each module focuses on a small subtask, so the problem is easier to solve, easier to test, easier to maintain, and, up and me easier to update. Development can be shared between programmers, so uh, different modules can be programmed in different languages. Modules then can be reused. Now, the dis the, there's only really like one main disadvantage of having the modules is that uh, it is difficult to link the modules together. So, modularization is if you have an instruction which you use multiple times within the same function to reduce the lines of code and make it easier to program and easier to well, easier to make the program and then easier to be debug. You have to put that instruction in a separate function, and then you would just call that function whenever you need it. The next video is on the variable scope and global. So on scope, so variable, all about variables. So the scope, the global variable, and then the local variable. Thanks for watching this video.